Film industry uses wire a lot for holding actors in different ways to give them more abilities, higher jobs and everything that you can imagine. In the most cases professional studios use thin wires that is sometimes almost invisible. But what you gonna do with this, this and this? Hi guys, Dennis with you. So, what is this shot? Where it's from? And who are these men? Obviously, it's me and my special friend Dmitry. 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 Mr. Dmitry. My brother. For those who didn't know, I'm also a songwriter, and not so long time ago, we posted our second music video for Halipster. Artist on the song that calls Black Sphere. Check out our channel Halipster right here. Our music you can find on all music platforms, links in the description. Let's go back to autumn 2020. We decided to film next music video, but we had no idea how it will look like. Band back, band back. And now start to come down, right leg first, then left. We didn't have any detailed plans for making the movie, just a few crazy ideas like a hanging from the rock in horizontal position. That was my idea and nobody was so inspired except me. <laughs> Dimka, what are you doing? I'm trying to sit. I'm sitting down on my bottom. I think this video will be banger 2000. This is a key to my heart. Just rotate this thing until you have blanked out. And this is a Deus Ex Machina. It appears at the end and it will solve any problems. Dennis, do you cry? No, I'm laughing. Listen, Dennis, I told you, you don't want... Don't record me a lot of footage because I have to edit all of that. Turn off. I will cut it for you. We was a little bit nervous because it's every time driving away, driving back, driving to buy something, driving because we forget something. Also, it was really hard to gather all my friends for helping me shooting all this stuff. Thank you guys! Actually, we found the professional equipment, thanks for my school teacher. But that was an equipment for teaching children rock climbing. That is why this was my first VFX problem. So guys, after the movie editing process, we got this amazing sequence of all beautiful shots without any color grades and post-production. And we need to separate them into tiny pieces for more comfortable work. Here's my project folder of Black Sphere music video. It's almost 43 gigabytes now. Let's open it. And here we have a folder with Pro Resolution files. It's 127 pieces, I'm already separate all rock scenes and put it in the separate folder, as you can see. All these 13 pieces, not more than 3 seconds long. Some of them I saved to picture sequences because I made a tracking for that and put it all together to one scene in After Effects. So all this footage is really different by angle, length or even a light in this scene. Let's take this shot, I think it's the most interesting for explaining that how it was before, this is how it will look like after our cleanups. So what we got here in this beautiful 89 scene, just move a little bit higher and here we have, oh my, 92 layers. That's a lot. But guys, don't scare too much. Because a lot of these layers is copies of themselves. Animated mask number one. Animated mask number two. Oh, really? This is the same animated mask, but with different color correction. This is some other animated mask, I think. Rock displaces. Some point trackers, and uh, dark skies, also we have here moon shining, the natural moon, it looks in the frame not so impressive, 
So we got to put right here some much bigger moon for more aggressive view. Also we have some clouds, shiny clouds, foggy clouds and some shiny. And as you can see at the top we have some different masks of musicians. Let me explain guys why do you need these masks. And you want to put something behind the character, you need to just cut out your character from the frame and put it to the top of the layer so simply you can easily add some some picture so you easily can i think you understand me you can easily put something behind the character understand or not I know that you need a lot of time for creating some detailed proper mask of some moving object but you will improve your final result with this mask a lot. That will be a lot easier to put something behind his hands, shoulders, head and some instruments. And guys here we go the final thing and the most important is simple wire removal effect what is this there's nothing complicated let's turn off all these effects except one and also i want to turn off all my masks no this is not interesting this is really interesting as you can see we have two points of this effect. This effect is simply took the pixels from the sides of the rope, from the left and right side. By using these different settings you can change this result. How do you want? Nothing complicated. This stuff just leave at 50% and you can play a little bit with slope and thickness. I've set up 6 pixels because my rope is really... Because my rope is really fat. And to remove this rope uh, we have to put uh, really big values. And as you can see my mask is really helping me to hide my artifacts. If we turn off our barabanchik we have some artifacts on his head. And that's really bad. Here is my advice, use additional layers of main characters. So I used a lot of different copies of this modifier and it's every time moving in the frame. So every which effect you have to animate. Uh, looks really scary, but nothing complicated. This is just the animation keys of every which point. This is all without wire removal effects and with it. But we still have a lot of different garbage behind the characters. I found some clean area on my footage and simply track it. After that, increase some softness on the edges of this mask and move it to the problem area. After that, you can create so many copies as you need or as you want. Here is my army of animated masks. I think now this looks much better than before. This mask will help you to remove some big elements, big garbage on your scene. That's really good, but I had a few troubles with these masks, because if you will look at this area, it looks much darker than this place. And also I create some few keys for brightness and sometimes I used keys for color balances. This rug behind the characters every time change the color because it has some different details behind, some different shadows. Moving light created me a lot of troubles, but I've made it. What is the second problem of using this method? We lose a lot of details behind. What we can do with this? I found some beautiful freeze frame of this scene, simply just just a little bit painted in Photoshop. I give to it some black and white effects, brightness, contrast and noise effect. Mask the area that I need, layer properties like soft light. Now we have some details on the rock. Good, but we still have some ropes on the dark sky areas and right here. 
That's really bad to use wire removal on the edges of uh, different colors because it's create for us new troubles. What can we do with this? I have some point trackers. You can create these trackers in After Effects or use some other software and simply drag it into the scene of After Effects, as I did. Oh, I forgot to mention one interesting detail that all these displacement layers you have to attach to your point trackers. They need the same moves, because they will not move properly in the frame. Let's go back to ropes on the sky. I create two layers of dark sky, just took some area from here and move it to the edge of the rock. As you can see, looks really good. Attach that to point trackers and also create some mask on the top of my character because this dark sky will go through my character and it's really bad. We have to create some additional layer of our character. And that's it guys! Also I found some beautiful picture of the moon in internet. Copy this moon and increase it in size to create some natural light outside of the moon. Also in this music video I have the scenes with the green screen. We will talk about this in the next video. And I rendered a lot of different clouds for that. One of these clouds I took from that and simply used it in this scene. Just a little bit masks. Skies. Brightness contrast, so I have a lot of different effects on this moon, some noises. Almost on every which layer I'm adding the noise. For a little bit realistic result, noise will help you. Let's repeat all steps one more time. First, remove wires. Second, put a lot of different masks. Third, put some displacements to background. And fourth, the last step, just copy your front details and front characters. I hope these methods will be useful for you. If you have any questions, you can leave the comment below. I used these four steps for all other 12 pieces. Let's take a look one more time again how it was looks like before and after. That was Dennis with you. As always, simple, easy, fast. Be brave to new experience.